Okay, finally, I banked up enough motorsport dollars here to be able to afford all the uh, tune-ups necessary to meet the PR requirement for the Formula E New York City E Pre 2020. As you can see here, uh, I have two days left before the entry closes. And as you guys might know it already, uh, it's a five stage special event uh, and kind of follows the normal special event uh, pattern as in each stage unlocks every 24 hours. So um, once you start the once you yeah start the event then you will have five days plus 24 or more hours depending on when you start the event. So in my case, I am starting a little before midnight here so I can unlock the stage one right now and then in about uh, 20 minutes or so, the next stage will unlock as well. So uh, I will run through the first two stages pretty quickly. And uh, there, once you start the event, there is instant uh, service offer for three hours and instant tune-up offer. And on my other account, I've already gone through and completed the event. And what I noticed is uh, out of five stages, stage one through four, you don't need to service the car anyway, mid, um, uh, mid stage basically. And final stage is the only one that you will need to service it once. And of course, if you start like when I'm starting, like a little before midnight to unlock two stages in a row, what you're getting is when the final stage unlocks, you will have essentially two days to complete it. So even if you kind of proceed like you normally do, I suppose the instant service deal is not that big of a deal as much as I thought it might uh, be. So, all right, so enough of me yapping here. There's 75 gold to be won as well, so that's not for nothing considering that tune-ups don't cost any gold. So it's essentially, if you just meet the PR requirement with motorsport dollars only, which is what I'm gonna do, uh, that means you can win 75 free gold. So, plus a new car, right? Um, even if you're not a big fan of Formula E, hey, 75 gold, why not, right? Okay, and I am going to continue on in Mahindra here. That's the one, of course, that I won from the last uh, update, last version at New York, uh, not New York, the Berlin Epre. So I already have the driver level somewhat banked up. So it's probably best to continue with the same driver to continue to build up my driver here. Um, Jerome, uh, let's see, no, I want Pascal because he's the one with the more XP, right? So we want to push, uh, him, our German, uh, racer, uh, as opposed to his co-pilot, uh, Belgian, uh, Jerome here. So we'll go with Pascal. <coughs> And uh, yes, it's a five-day special event uh, for a chance to win another new car. So yes, let's get started. Shakedown. All right, so stage one only has three goals. And uh, New York Circuit. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, out of the three Formula E circuits in Real Racing 3, I think the New York is the toughest one. Um, it's like a Formula E version of Daytona. <laughs> anyway, uh, what do you got, Michael? Welcome to the Brooklyn Street Circuit in New York. This tight technical circuit overlooks New York City. Not that you'll have much time to look at the scenery this weekend. Indeed. Today's shakedown will let the team 
run some basic tests on the car, but more importantly, you'll be able to learn the track with less pressure. Eric will walk you through today's schedule. Good luck. Thanks, Michael. He's right in saying that this track is narrow. Uh, yeah, you don't have to tell me that. We're racing on an actual road, so there's only a handful of real overtaking opportunities. I think we already kind of know where that's going to be. As I was saying, three goals for stage one and next uh, stage will unlock in looks like about 16 minutes. All right, so uh, Shakedown prevents us from operating at full power. Take the opportunity to learn. Oh yeah, at the, the beginning, we start with a very uh, hampered down version of the car. So just a casual pace race here, but more importantly, instant R&D let's get those um, tune-ups going we need to bring these tune-ups up four categories up to step six so and the total will cost me I believe 2.1 million right about everything that I have right now so eh, here we go and 14 of those um, tune-ups will 14, no, 16 of these, those tune-ups will actually earn me the XP, the pr principal XP to, you know, once I won another car or this car, I guess, since this is the team that I'm using, I'll be able to, um, uh, if necessary, I'll be able to level up the team principal, right? So without further ado, Let's uh, do this. Uh, I'll just, uh, I already know what I need to do. So I'm just going to go gearbox each category all the way up to step six. So there's a step two. Or I guess uh, that brings it up to step two. Right, and then step three. So far, not bad. Of course, the expensive category is going to be the, the second one, right? The one that deals with acceleration power unit optimization. That's the, the killer. And uh, also the suspension adjustment, the last category. So the first and third categories, the gearbox uh, mapping and brakes calibrations are not as pricey. All right, so I got six steps on gearbox mapping. So let's move on to next category, the dreaded power unit optimization. But we do get a little extra uh, PR boost on these more expensive categories. Anyway, we're going to need to bring this up to six, sixth step as well, which will total now um, 12 tune-ups, right? All right. That is what, step four? Right, so here's a step five. And finally, step six to wrap up this category. Ugh, that ate up about half of my uh, motorsport dollar bank already. I know, and we're about halfway through, so. All right, next category, brakes calibration. Let's do it. This one also need to go up to the sixth step. And while we're at it, we're getting pretty darn close to, uh, this is the 16th um, tune-up step. So that's the last one that 
will max out our team principal. So from here on out, these are just the sheer tune-ups to uh, essentially save me some gold. Right, so that is that. And the remaining 585 is essentially all going to get spent on this final category. Suspension adjustments. Right. I think I should be able to afford it. Alright, 61.7. 62.1. Of course, we need to bring it up to 62.8. Alright, so there we go, 62.4. And finally, I have 132,000 motorsport dollars left. And the 95 of it is, 95,000 of it is gonna go towards this final tune up to bring the PR up to 62.8. So there we go leaves me with whopping 37,369 motorsport dollars. All right, so without further ado, let's continue on here. Complete these laps. So pretty simple challenge, just finish, right? So let's do it. Oh, this noise on the Formula E cars. Breaking point, a little bit for this crosswalk, I think is a good spot. And a little combination corner. A little overtake. There we go. Break around. I thought I could break a little bit later, huh? Because that's a very important corner to master. Since it's coming out of the fastest section, leading into yet another very fast section. And there aren't that many long straights in this circuit, so important to nail every single one. Put the inside, thank you very much. A little late on the brakes there, I think. That chicane also leading in here is pretty tricky. So when you're doing time trial, so easy to bump into one of the corners. This one not as bad to me. A little bit wider corner, and you can see better too. Which I think makes a big difference. And then the final corner will make the overtake. Alright, finishing in ninth place. Let's see, uh, 106 XP driver XP gain there. All right, and 2,050 motorsport dollars to go towards today's uh, limit here. All right, so how are we doing here? Minute 10 at the top of the grid. That is fast. Um, I was in ninth place, right? minute 55 but i guess that's not really a very good reflection since i don't know where those other cars started even all right so that is good enough for the event starter goal here now nah, we're not going to be spending any money on those motorsport dollar so let's continue on with the goal two here uh, what do we have? Oh yes, this is where you have to make a inside overtake, I think. Or overtake the car ahead. Oh, 
distant orbital. Alright. Should be pretty quick. And we got the target acquired. I thought there was an inside overtake challenge. There we go. Well, I guess they took out the inside part. Because I'm pretty sure there was another um, condition to this overtake. But anyway, doesn't really matter. Either way, it's pretty quick. And pretty decent payout in terms of motorsport dollars. All right, and placing in first place. Look at that. Another deal that we're not really interested in. Great driving. We're now going to check out car's energy recovery. Oh yeah, we don't really need to be concerned about this though. Um, if you're not already, you will need to drive with manual acceleration enabled. Right, because they do want you to coast at certain points. And we have to, looks like, tailgate for two minutes. To essentially learn how to um, conserve battery by tailgating and taking use, uh, making use of drafting. Alright, that's plenty of energy though. We could just ask you to tailgate anybody, right? Wonder. Am I just making this challenge longer by overtaking? I probably can. You know what? I'll just stay behind this. Uh, it looks like a Jaguar. Panasonic, right? Very, uh... Easily identifiable livery. So yeah, that's what they want you to do, essentially. Stay behind. And conserve some energy, although I'm not really getting much benefit from drafting much. I mean, there was hardly any drafting in that field one. I think this is another challenge that um, pretty much ends as soon as the two minutes of tailgating is done. So really no reason to make any overtakes. Okay. Right, some 40 seconds left here. And we're moving extremely slow. Oh god. Yeah, in fact, I think most of the challenges are pretty straightforward. Um, the final stage, there's some challenge that can be little, and you have to really kind of... Uh, you cannot be too distracted in the final stage for those goals, but these... Uh, oh, I guess you still have to finish. Oh, I thought it was just a two-minute... Okay, I stand corrected. You actually have to finish two, uh, however many laps there are. Oh, that makes me feel silly. Of course, the behavior of the car right now is not a very good reflection to do that, all those tune-ups. So, I wish this car performed at least this good eye. Um, during the time trial event that's going on right now, but, uh, well, we all know tune-ups are all gone for that, so that is a shame. Alright, 
and we can make another overtake. That's pretty smooth. Okay. There we go. Nice and close. Look at that. Apparently I somehow finished first. So... Yeah, out of 3 minutes 30 seconds, 2 minutes were spent behind that uh, slow moving traffic. 493 driver experience added and 17,600 motorsport dollars earned for that one. All right. And that will do it for the stage one. And uh, I know we can get it uh, serviced right away, but uh, we'll hold off on it. Well, then chill your Reese's. You'll eat it slower. I wouldn't know. I swallow my... All right. Totally unnecessary, but we'll take it if they're giving, right? 5,000 motorsport dollar rewards for the stage one completion, which does not go against your daily limit and five gold for the effort there we go free five gold that's it for shakedown today cars looking great next time you'll be out there will be for the practice session uh, with full power thank goodness right um, right so that will conclude the stage one and stage should, 2 should be unlocking very soon, so we'll continue with the stage 2 in the next video. See you there.